Well, cowboy, you just jumped right in, didn't you? I'm Dolly. Uh, Woody. Woody, really? You're gonna stick with that? Why? Cause now's your chance to change it, new room and all. And that's that's coming from a doll named Dolly. You're watching Today I Grew Up. was an exclusive to the Disney Store back as a Wave 3 release um, from 2011 to 2012, then disappeared forever. I believe it was a UK store exclusive and we never saw it again in the USA ever. So this is one of the rarest Toy Story Collection toys you can probably find. And if you do find it, know that on eBay to this day, I see auctions going for up to 800 US dollars. You know, obviously, it's really expensive and and I wanted one of these and so I found Adam Sartori he's known as Toy Story underscore custom on Instagram please follow him he created this masterpiece this movie accurate detailed dolly by hand he is from Brazil and he truly created something very unique very special and if anything if you ask me better than what we got from Thinkway Toys if you look at here at the movie still on the left and Toy Story collection dolly on the right She's missing a tooth and some other little details like the eyebrows. But here, Adam created something that looks more like the film. And I just think the proportions are better. And if you compare Toy Story Collection Dolly with this custom one Adam made, it just looks more movie accurate. So I definitely think that Adam created something just truly special, truly unique, and it's definitely more of a movie accurate film prop replica, which I admire so much. As you guys know, I love to chase that kind of movie prop feeling like the toy jumped out of the movie. And to get something in real life that looks exactly like the movie is very special and very different than most collectors, but it's definitely something I strive for. Um, just Dolly looks so perfect um, from the bows in her hair to the googly eyes, the tooth in her mouth and the buttons that are hand sewn and just dangling on her uh, plush body. It's very true and accurate to the Dolly we see in Toy Story 3 and Toy Story 4. So Dolly was never really a main character, but she was definitely the queen of Bonnie's room. She definitely was the Woody of Bonnie's room. She took charge. She knew what was going on. And I can really see that leadership within her um, in Bonnie's room. So it's it's such a nice toy to have. And, you know, it's just it's just crazy to me. It looks exactly like the movie to me. So the back of her hair is uh, beautifully painted purple felt. It's kind of like a th harder material. Not really sure what it's made out of. Um, it almost feels like there's like a cardboard base to the hair because it's a little stiff, but it's definitely uh, lined with a, a fabric felt kind of feeling. And then there's a cloth dress that's nice and stitched. Movie accurate colors are spot on. I really feel like this looks like Dolly from the movies. Um, and hopefully you can agree with me here. Uh, Adam, you did an amazing job. This looks so good. Better than my wildest imagination. So I'm not so sad anymore <laughs> that I couldn't get Toy Story Collection Dolly because this Dolly is the best one I've ever seen. It's even better than Thinkway Toys, in my opinion. I love the googly eyes um, as you shake her. Her eyes shake up and down. Um, you know, it's just very sensitive to movement. And I think that's very true to the film. 
Um, so no matter how you move her, her eyes, her googly eyes will work flawlessly. Amazing. And I was looking closer at the mouth uh, to try to figure out what Adam did here. And it looks like he hand painted this um, with a very high quality paint. It doesn't smudge or rub off, of course, but it's just you can feel it like it's a very professional sealed paint. So it's not going to rub off. Um, the bow details kind of feel like, I don't know, it's hard to describe. It's almost like a soft plastic material and it's been cut and painted. Uh, and also the green stitching detail right there. That's what makes it more amazing to copy these movie accurate details. I really like that as well. And the ends of her hair are flexible and you can move them in between uh, these blocks of hair, but it's just really nice touch instead of making it just a static block of hair, you know, there's some dimensional depth there and I really love that. So it's, it's just incredible. And the, like I said, the back material is a little stiff. Um, but everything's just sewn really well and the dress you can tell there's there's really nothing to complain about here the the body is completely plush it's um very soft and the buttons are true to the film as they're hard plastic material and yeah it's just it's so perfect um one thing on the buttons uh adam tried to make them look more like a whitewash um i think what i did is i got some nail uh, polish remover without the acetone and actually rubbed it off a little bit so it looks a little better and then here the fair lease is missing from the bronze button but that doesn't really bother me too much and then this is a really nice square blue button so the button details although not a hundred percent there are basically 99 percent there and i'm happy with the buttons and i think it's true to scale to the film looks really nice and i just like all the attention to details there every dot is painted on her dress correctly the green stitching is spot on even some blush on her cheeks i noticed on her face um, her body's nice and soft and it's a nice plush so it's very true to dolly from the film and like i said the googly eyes just get me every time uh, the body's kind of skinny which i like that's very true to the movie um, and it's just it's a beautifully painted and stitched and sewn dolly and i think seriously i think toy factories kind of lack that quality control that people can do by hand you kind of miss those details so adam you did a fantastic job thank you for making my dreams come true um, making a movie accurate toy story toy is always kind of my dream here and i'm glad i was able to attain this dolly so definitely find them on instagram here on the right is a Disney Store plush release that we got. It's a generic dolly that you can get for very cheap. I think this dolly cost me like $10 online. So if you can't afford a very expensive price, this custom actually wasn't very expensive. Um, way cheaper than Toy Story Collection dolly. You can get a cheaper alternative out there, which is the Disney Store, but he, Disney Store dolly does not have googly eyes. And that is something definitely that I don't like about it, but it's a cute plush if you're gonna give it to a kid. I don't need it but I wanted to show you that comparison. So here is custom dolly with some of Bonnie's friends uh, from Bonnie's room. Here on the far left is a Toy Story QC, find him on Instagram, Steven, my friend. He made this custom Trixie. And then Adam, of course, here made this dolly we just reviewed. And then here on the right, I don't have Toy Story Collection Buttercup or Prickle Pants. So I had to get these Disney Store versions for now until I can afford to buy the real deal due to the fact that they're really rare and really expensive. I used to have them back in the day in 2011, 12, but then I had to sell them because I got poor. So for now, until I can save my money and not spend so much money on custom mods, um, hopefully that's soon, I have this Disney Store Prickle Pants. I got them on eBay for about mm, $15, $20, not very expensive. I believe he came from the UK, I think, but Disney Store should have him. He looks really great considering he's not the collection version. I really like him anyways. And then this Buttercup is a Disney Parks exclusive. So they only sell this Buttercup if you're at Disneyland Resort California or maybe Disney World Florida. You can pick up this Buttercup plush. I think it cost me about $45 on eBay because COVID shut down the parks. So I haven't been able to find him. He's usually retail for $15. He doesn't have plastic eyes like the movie, but 
for a cheap alternative, I think it looks fantastic. And at least these are all movie scale with each other now. To have a movie accurate size Trixie and now this movie prop accurate Dolly, it's just a dream come true. Next, I'm gonna pick up a Toy Story Collection Buttercup and Toy Story Collection Prickle Pants. And then I'll feel like my Toy Story 3 Bonnie's Toys Collection here that I have going is complete because these are my favorite ones. I do plan on adding the peas in the pod, but I'll do that in another video. As always, guys, thank you for watching, for liking, for subscribing to my channel, for supporting this content. I only want to keep growing and hit 100,000 subs, so you're making my dreams come true as you subscribe to my channel. And I have more videos coming soon, some movie accurate mods, but then also some other fun videos. So I'll see you partners on the next video review.